If I were to characterise the main differences between Norwegian managers, Finnish, uh, Danish and Swedish, the data that I've collected, this is from over a thousand middle managers, would indicate Norwegians are much more direct, Finnish people are much more hierarchical and a lesser need to build social networks, far lesser sense of equality. Our Danish colleagues are much more individualistic, go for it, kind of a more American style. And our Swedish colleagues, consensus-based social individualism and a great sense of team building and small talk. Many people say, well, why do you need to know about differences? Isn't culture ever changing? But it's essential for us in times of global um, economic challenges that we need to appreciate how we can build our social competence. This is um, an added value for our organisations. So when we're doing business and we're working in project team groups, if we understand the differences, we can preempt this by being able to work closer together and this will add value to our organisation. But more importantly, if we're able to understand the diversity, we can build on that diversity and generate added value. It's a very interesting point, isn't it? To what degree has our historical past impacted who we are today as a group of Nordic societies? And let's just consider, in only the last 200 years, our Finnish colleagues have had a hundred years of Russification, we could call, um, a greater sense of communist values, strong collectivist values, bureaucracy. And it comes as no surprise that many managers have been in either the public sector or in the military. And that does impact and colour leadership values. What about our Danish colleagues who traditionally have been industrial nations doing business since the 1600s globally? They have had to have a go-for-it attitude and this is impacted in that individualistic style of management, absolutely. Our Swedish colleagues have enjoyed a great um, post-World War II rebuilding of the society through collectivist values and this is part of who a Swedish manager will be proud of the rebuilding of a nation. Let's consider what's the take-home of this research. Of course this is a six-year research study built upon a four-year doctorate and two years of postdoctoral research. So data analyses and regression analyses is not so important for key business people but what is important is the findings. So we can consider the take-home is that in an international or even a Scandinavian business context, we can learn from this. We can learn that we will spend time to be engaged in the work of our colleagues. We can spend a little bit more time building relationships and networks. We can invest in um, developing relationships, which does add to the bottom line. So why shouldn't we want to build relations, reciprocity? Why wouldn't we want to have diversity in terms of more equality in boards um, and project teams? And that's the take home.